Whole Foods, glorious Whole Foods. Um, it's exactly what it says on the tin. A new Whole Foods is opening, just opened today. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to go and get lunch and get some extremely overpriced groceries. Um, I'm going to be trying to exercise some. I have a coupon, but I'm going to try to exercise some restraint on the groceries because uh, in a few weeks, of course, I'm, you know, moving to Alaska. Uh, it'll be fun. It's been a long, long time since I've been to Whole Foods, and uh, it certainly will be a long, long time before I go back because I don't have such luxuries where I'm going. Right, let's see what it's about. So I was foolish. I um, really underestimated the crowds there, especially since it was right at lunchtime. Uh, it was madness, as I'm sure you saw, so I didn't get to vlog much, but that's okay. We do crowds, we do Dragon Con, it's all fine. Um, so anyways, let's go right into what I got. Okay, hooray for this bizarre angle, but it's what I got at Whole Foods. First, this is the thing I am most excited about. You can see, it's, look, maybe this baguette is not the smartest choice, but I saw it and said, oh my god, comically huge baguette. I don't even know where I'm going to put this. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Overpriced eggs. I feel like I shouldn't say overpriced. Everything here is overpriced. Right, and then in this bag, these are the bags. Cheese crackers. An assortment of wild looking heirloom tomatoes. Here, cats, have a bag. Is this right side up? Beyond Sausage. And finally, oh no, there's some more, not quite finally. An avocado. Ricotta. All right, so since that Whole Foods thing turned out being shorter than I planned, I've um, got a little bonus content. Uh, today, today is a big tech rehearsal day, but if that ends at a reasonable hour, I'm gonna go on over to Big Peach Running Company and get new running shoes. The funny thing is, I haven't ran since last summer, and I haven't, I don't think I'm gonna run at all in 2019 since I'm not gonna be here for Peachtree. But running shoes are also really good walking around shoes, and the ones I currently have are literally falling apart, and I would like to replace those before I go to Alaska. <laughs> so, that's my little plan there. All right, I think we must be in some kind of bizarre alternate universe because tech ended early and I had time to get my new shoes. So here they are. Beautiful, new, clean, not worn out shoes. Um, they're just Brooks Ravenna. Uh, they're a new shoe to me. I think I've worn this brand before. Um, they were on sale for 30% off, which never happens because usually the, the tiny shoes don't stay on the shelves long enough to go on sale. So that was a plus. Um, I did not really vlog inside of the store, but I just wanted to mention that I do very highly recommend Big Preach Running Company. Uh, that's basically the only place where I get shoes and stuff from. Uh, very friendly, highly knowledgeable staff. Um, they have the things you step on that like analyzes your feet and they can look at your your gait analysis and everyone there is just so knowledgeable and friendly. So if you're in Atlanta, highly recommend. So I decided that this weird disjointed vlog needed a little more content. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try these. Let y'all know what I think. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to try them because I've heard good things about these products yet. At the same time, I'm skeptical because I feel like, for my preferences, the the more these non-meat things try to be like meat, 
the more I notice there aren't, the less I like them, but we'll see. Oop. All right, so here's my new friend and some potatoes and zucchinis. There it is, cut into it. It smells out of this world. Does not look spectacular. Can already tell cutting into it. I think the texture might be the issue here, but it smells good, so that's it'll taste good. It just might be a little strange. Right. Here it is. All right, it's okay. Um, it definitely has that tofu crumble kind of texture, so the flavor is a lot less intense than than the smell is. Like it, it smells like the most epic hot Italian sausage, but it does taste is a little bland. But you know, I'm not mad about it. I'm glad I got it. I'm gonna be happy to finish off the package of what I had. Would I buy it again? No, I don't think so. Mate, I don't know. Ooh, I forgot my outro again until the next day. Um, no, just the usual thing. Have fun and be safe. I'm actually about to make another of those little Beyond sausages for my lunch.